time to start this video and it's like alarms going off people pulling through their drive through people passing with their music uh, <laughs> it's the wrong time background <laughs> okay let's start this over again hey 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 guys welcome back to my channel love charms world if you're new to my channel take a look around don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and i hope that you enjoy you would enjoy my content and what i have to give to you guys if you have any suggestions as to what i you want to see me doing you could you know comment down below and i'll do those videos for you okay let's get right into this video i've been trying to get into this video for the longest it's like <laughs> Every time I try, like the neighbors is leaving or car passing by with music and everything. As you can see, I'm in a very sunny background, so I'm not in New York anymore, um, at least for now. I've been contemplating for a while as to whether or not I should do this video or not, but um, I feel as though I needed to tell you guys where have I been. I've been missing for two weeks, basically. Well, I haven't posted on YouTube for two weeks and I had some footage from when I went to Mexico. By the way, go check that out. My Mexico videos and I've just been posting those, but during that time, um, I'm not sure if you guys know, watch the video, the video prior to those um, Mexico video. Um, I did have a medical issue in which I don't want to get into because it's entirely too personal um no I'm not sick I'm okay um I'm okay on that end but it's too personal for me to get into but just know I'm okay and so guys are you ready for this and by the way yes I'm jumping into this video because I don't want it to be a long drawn out video but um, my apartment caught fire. So basically, um, I was home, my brother and I, and I, um, I remember I started working out and I'm trying to change my diet. So put something in the oven um, for dinner for us. And um, I was just laying down, chilling. And then my brother came to me, he's like, yo the light is out i'm like wait so i looked on the app the first thing i checked to see is if i paid the light bill because i know i paid the light bill so i don't know if there's some mishap because a couple months prior to that they put some new charges on my light bill because they didn't have anybody to come out and see the meter because of covid or whatever and i'm just like that doesn't make any sense anyways so i checked um my light to see if that's the issue but then i'm like no that can't be the issue because i paid the bill anyways the first thing that came the second thing that came to mind is to check the breaker because i know in the past we have had issues with the breaker and i told my landlord about this multiple times so i went over um to check my breaker and i felt heat and i'm like yo this doesn't seem right so then afterwards I, my brother came out and he was looking as well and um i felt like i put my hand not too close to the breaker and i felt heat and then i look outside my kitchen window and i saw so much smoke like coming so the fire had already started so my brother was like yo i'm gonna call 911." in my head i was like nah it's probably like not that big but he called and they came super uber duper fast. Like we, he barely hung up. Luckily, excuse me, luckily there was like, there was like two um, fire station that I know that's close to my house. So they came as quickly as possible. So shout out to them. And they came in and they started breaking down the wall and they, they saw, it, it, it was just, I'll try and insert footage to show you guys, but the before and after of my apartment was crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And they had to rip the wall out, rip the door off, 
and it was crazy. So I, in the meantime, I was texting um, my landlord to let him know what's going on and he was on his way and, and it was just like a nightmare. And prior to that, I was already um, going through a lot of stuff that's mentally, that's also very personal. But guys, from the year started, I've just been getting like hit back to back with other stuff. And then my friend would shout out to her and I'm very grateful, was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. And I don't know, I was just, I just, I don't know. I just felt like I had to leave because I felt even though my friend extended her wanted me to stay and she you know we in a way was helping each other through what we're going through but like i felt like i felt like i needed to to leave in new york on a whole and i called my aunt, my aunt and i was explaining to her what's what's what and she was like i should come home and that's what i did so now i'm here in jamaica um, I haven't reached out to any of my friends here to let them know that I'm here and if you guys are watching this video I don't want you to take it to offense I just need my space and I've, um, ever since I've got came to Jamaica I've just been in the house I just don't really feel like you know interacting with friends right now it's not I'm not trying to be mean but mentally right now I'm just not in that headspace um but yeah i did however get to go to portland so that video will come soon it's not a lot of footage because my cousin and i i found this place and i decided to go check it out and see what's what it was about and i really enjoyed myself um but yeah i did get to go to portland like i just want to surround myself with a lot of like water and i don't know i just want to be free and feel free um, I'm doing okay so far so that's good um, I explained to my manager what was going on and she was nice enough to um, give me some time off so that um, my apartment could be sorted out so that's why you guys haven't been seeing any flight attendant videos or you know stuff like that because I've just not been mentally there to even go to work and now I don't even have somewhere to stay and um, my freaking landlord he said he's trying to get in contact with the insurance and they're giving him the runaround and they said he should be approved and it's just it's just a whole lot so if by the extended time that I got from my landlord if I don't get somewhere I'm just gonna have to find somewhere to live and now it's like a struggle to even find an apartment that's reasonable and within our budget so I'm just hoping and praying to God by now and next week everything is sorted out for my apartment so that I could come back home so that it could be um, approved for the insurance so they could fix things because my landlord said he's gonna redo my entire apartment so it's gonna take a while he said it's gonna take three to four weeks for them to even fix things so we couldn't stay in our car um we couldn't stay in our apartment because of, of carbon monoxide and that could kill us so yeah and the firefighter also said that had we not been there to stop things it would have been a wrap like everything would have been gone like the whole building would have burned down because as they were like chopping the wall to see the fire started gushing out i'll try and see if i could insert videos i wish i had videos to show you guys entirely as to what was going on but it was crazy guys like there was so much fire and i'm glad that none of our items got damaged i'm really grateful for that i'm grateful to be alive like i'm just so grateful so bear with me with the videos um I'm really trying to grow my channel for it to be bigger and um, I apologize for missing video updates but I'm sure you'd understand after this is updated uploaded so <sighs> yeah it's it's been real for me guys mentally but I'm doing okay so far I'm with my family and yeah I've just you know been trying to take things easy um yeah
um but guys i'm really thinking about i'm really thinking about like trying to see how i could actually move back home to jamaica to be honest like it's been pondering on my mind for the past i think two years or so or even more to move back home because when i'm here i feel it free and with everything that's going on in the world and in jamaica there's so many like crimes and stuff i know the crime rates is crazy and everything but i don't know i just feel like i want to come back home and maybe work from here like commute from here to go to work and then come back i just want to feel free but that's something that i'm just gonna have to figure out because my seniority at my job right now sucks because um of covid last year because of the pandemic um they had to move a lot of people from jfk to other bases and yeah um my seniority list i'm jfk based so my seniority list is down so right now i'm only getting 11 days off a month and the schedules are crazy um i think new york and i think jfk and another base is being affected by this like people in LaGuardia, they're okay they're still getting their regular days off because they aren't affected and i wish i used to be LaGuardia base and i wish i wouldn't have moved from LaGuardia because i still would have held my 15 days off 16 days off and be okay but 11 days off with so many work back to back two days off guys being a flight attendant to be honest that's not good enough and it will get if you're if this is something that you love like i don't know how to explain it but even if you love and you're passionate about it because i am you still get mentally drained if you don't get the proper rest because remember just because we're flight attendants and we come home the work doesn't stop there we still gotta go home we gotta wash cook clean all that good stuff we need time for a mental space and everything so the 11 days off i don't know guys it's just not cutting it for me and i don't want to move to another base i really wish things would pick up so that um things could go back to normal because i'm really gonna need those days off 11 days off is just not cutting it for me at all but um yeah um that's all i have to say to you guys about what's going on i'm just giving you an update as to what's going on and why is it that i have not been posting and i hope that you guys enjoy and if i do miss a week i apologize in advance um just follow me on instagram and at sweetest love charm and you'll be updated um there as to what's going on if i'm gonna post or if i'm not gonna post and yeah thank you guys for my subscribers who have been around from day one and the new ones thank you guys for tuning in and i hope you like this video um share tell a friend to tell a friend and i love you guys for watching and i will see you in my other videos stay tuned and be blessed. Bye.